Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create annotated screen capture images using a free tool called Nimbus. You'll find it at nimbusweb.me slash screenshot. You can get this for Chrome, Opera, or Firefox. And I'm gonna use the extension right now in my Chrome browser to take a screenshot. So let's see how it works. You can see I have it installed up here. And when I click on it, I have a variety of options here. I can record a video if I want. But what I'm gonna do here is I wanna capture a part of my page. So I might say I'm gonna capture a fragment or capture a selected area. So let's go in and select an area. And now let's save that. And it saves just that area as an image file and I can save it on my desktop if I want. But I wanna annotate it. I wanna call out certain elements on it. So let's go back again, do that same thing. Let's capture a selected area. And so I'll capture this area. And now I'll hit this edit button. And that brings up a new browser window where I can now go in and do things like use a marker to highlight. So I'll do that. But I can also do things like draw straight lines to call attention to things. Maybe I want to show people where to log in to my courses. Go to course login. And now let's go back up here. Maybe we want to do, uh, do a little more highlighting. So we'll go here, course login, and there it is. Now, if I want to add some text, I might write something like, go here to log in. And we can move that around as we need. Click and drag and move those pieces around the annotated screenshot. So there we are. Now when I'm done, let's just hit that done button. You can see all the ways that I can save it. I can put it to my Google Drive, my Dropbox, share it in Slack, print it out if I want to. There's a service called Nimbus Note, which is a note taking tool that you could use. Or let's just hit save as image. And now I'm saving that as an image on my desktop and I might even call it something different like course login help. Now there's more that I can do with this extension than just capturing a fragment. Let's say I wanna capture my entire computer screen. Let's go up here and select, we wanna capture the entire page. So that's now captured the entire visible page that's on the screen. Right? So it scrolled down automatically and captured the whole thing for me, right? So not only did I just capture, instead of just capturing a fragment, I captured the entire page. Right? And again, hit done, and we can save that. Right? So there we go, now it's saved. But we can also go up here, and we wanna capture maybe a selected area, or we wanna capture the desktop. Let's select entire screen, and you're gonna see here, it's gonna capture everything, not only my browser window, but also the background. So that, that's now captured everything that's on my desktop right now, including the screencasting tool that I'm using to make this video right now. You can see I'm four minutes into the video when I capture this. So let's call that out. There it is. You can see there's my entire screen. And again, hit done and save that as an image. Now, one thing I should point out, if you're using a Chromebook, there is a separate Nimbus screenshot app that you can get to use on your Chromebook 
to capture your entire screen instead of just your web browser. And you can see there, I have it installed in Chrome, the Nimbus Screenshot app. And that's the tool to use if you're a Chromebook user who wants to capture more than just your browser window. So that's Nimbus. Again, you can use the extension on Chrome, Firefox, or Opera to capture screen images and annotate them. And I have to give a shout out to Jim, who sent me an email asking for help on this very topic. And so thanks, Jim, for the suggestion. As always, if you have any questions for me, feel free to send me an email. And check out my YouTube channel for more tips and tricks like this.